Which of the functions shown in the table below could be quadratic? So before I even get into this, I'm going to have to zoom up because these pictures aren't that great. Okay, if I were to take a table and find out all of these numbers are the same, that would be linear. If they're not the same, then step number two is do it again. If all of these numbers are the same, that would be quadratic. That's what I'm looking for. I'm going to go to each table. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to go to each table and see if the rate of change of the rate of change is the same. And if that's the case, then that's the one I want. So let's take a look at A. Okay, I add in each case, I add two. Now these guys are going up by two. These guys are going up by two each and every time. So this guy right here is actually linear because the rate of change is constant over consecutive equal length and put value intervals. I nailed that phrase right there. Uh, now let's try this guy. You go down by three, down by three, down by three, down by three, down by three. You too, my friend, are linear. Okay, so not you. Let's zoom up, let's zoom up. Uh, let's try U. I'm going to subtract 1, subtract 2, subtract 3, subtract 4, subtract 5. U are not linear because these numbers are not the same. So let's see if the rate of change of the rate of change is the same. U go down by 1, U go down by 1, U go down by 1, U go down by 1. So this guy is my guy. That's my quadratic equation because the rate of change of the rates of change over consecutive equal length input value intervals are exactly the same. Wow. Zoom out. Circle. Good job, everybody.